So the Ludwig Superphonic, especially the vintage Ludwig Superphonic. If you go searching for one, everybody asks the same question. Is it chrome over brass or chrome over aluminum? Believe it or not, they're two different drums. And in this video, I'm going to show you the one that is identified as maybe being a little more sought after and hopefully clear up some misconceptions on why they are not the same drum. What's going on everybody, Nick Costa here. And in this Snare Saturday video, I'm going to be showing you the Ludwig Chrome Over Brass 5x14 snare drum. Sometimes identified as a Chrome Over Brass Superphonic, this drum is actually known as the Super Ludwig. And in this video, you're gonna to get to hear it and see why it is a completely different drum than a Superphonic. Now, before we dive into this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification that way you're notified of any additional content that I upload to the channel. So before we dive into the specs of the drum, let's talk about the history of this drum and the Ludwig Superphonic. Now the original chrome over brass snare drum that Ludwig released was known as the Super Ludwig. This was a drum that was introduced in the 1960s and had a very short run. It was the predecessor to the Superphonic, which is why a lot of people will say that Superphonics were chrome over brass. But once again, it was a completely different drum and it was known as the Super Ludwig. Now, because these drums had a very short lifespan, they did become pretty popular in the 90s because of the sound. And if you think about it, a chrome over aluminum shell is gonna be pretty bright. It's gonna attack and have a ton of bite to it. Whereas a brass shell, you're gonna have some warmth and some overtones as well. So if you chrome plate a brass shell, you're gonna get that warmth and the overtones of brass, but it's gonna be a tad brighter and more direct because it's chrome plated. Now the drum that I am showing you today is a modern era Ludwig chrome over brass snare drum. Now all modern day chrome over brass Ludwig snare drums have the same lugs as the Superphonic, which is why a lot of people believe they are the same exact drum, except one is chrome over brass and one is chrome over aluminum. And those lugs are 10 double-sided imperial lugs. Now this drum, however, came from the factory with tube lugs installed because that is an option that Ludwig offers. Now this drum in particular is the LB400BT, which stands for tube lug. And we'll talk a little bit about why I decided to go with tube lugs over the Imperial lug in a second. So let's go ahead and talk about the specs of this drum. Like I said, it is a five by 14 chrome over brass shell. It is 1.2 millimeters thick and it is a spun shell, meaning that it wasn't welded together. This particular model is the one that comes with tube lugs, so it has 10 double-sided tube lugs, 2.3 millimeter triple flange hoops on the top and the bottom, and Ludwig's P88AC throw-off. Now, heads on this drum are the ones that come standard with every Ludwig chrome over brass snare from the factory, at least at the time of making this video, which are Remo drum heads that have the Ludwig logo on them. Now, snare wires are just the generic Ludwig snare wires that they offer with all of their snare drums. So the reason why I decided to go with this drum that has tube lugs over imperial lugs. So the reason why I decided to go with tube lugs over imperial lugs, even though I think imperial lugs look great, more of the lug is making contact with the shell. And on top of that, if you have purchased a modern metal Ludwig snare drum, you know that they are putting rubber gaskets behind those lugs. That's to protect the shell to make sure the lug isn't digging into it. However, Older metal Ludwig snare drums didn't have that. And those rubber gaskets can choke out the drum a little bit. This is also why a lot of people, when they are buying modern day Ludwig metal snare drums, they take the drum apart and remove those gaskets so the lugs are having direct contact with the shell. And that helps just open up the drum a little bit more. Now, although a tube lug does have two mounting points, the base to where those screws are attaching is really small compared to an entire lug. So there's not as much surface area of the lug making contact with the shell. So in theory, the shell should resonate a little bit more. But rather than me just telling you that, let's find out for ourselves together. So just like every other Snare Saturday video in the series, I'm gonna play this drum through a few different tunings. I'm gonna start out in the low tuning and work my way up to a higher tuning. And unfortunately, since this is a modern day Ludwig drum, they do not come with internal dampeners, like the vintage drums from the 60s and 70s did. So enough of me talking, let's dive in.
Now, the first thing that I do have to say is, although the Superphonic is the most recorded snare drum, mainly because of its versatility and the sound throughout all of these different tunings, you can now hear the difference between that and a chrome over brass. Chrome over brass just has a little bit more character to it, meaning, in my opinion, it's just warmer. And because it is a brass shell, it has more overtones, so in those lower tunings, it has a little bit more of a ring and sustain to it. And although in those higher tunings, it still cuts and is really direct, you still have a brass shell, which is going to react a whole lot differently than an aluminum shell. But either way, I would love to get your opinion and what you thought of this Ludwig Chrome over Brass snare drum. So make sure that you leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know. Also, if you liked this video and you wanna check out some of the earlier videos from the Snare Saturday series, I put a link to the playlist in the description below and I'll also have it pop up right here to make it a bit easier for you. Besides letting me know what you thought of this drum, if you have any other additional questions, feel free to leave that in the comment section as well and I'll try my best to answer them. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. That way it makes it a little bit easier for others to find it. Also, don't forget about that free event that is happening on April 14th at Philadelphia Drum and Percussion, hosted by the Pennsylvania Chapter of Percussive Art Society. And thank you so much for checking out this video on the Ludwig Chrome Over Brass LB400BT snare drum. And until next time, see you later.